How are you guys doing today? I'm going to move this camera back a little bit. Refresh my computer. Good morning, good morning. Okay. Just want to make sure you can all hear me. Today's Good Mood is brought to you by coffee. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing really well today. This morning we woke up to snow. It was 70 on Saturday. And today it is 35-ish and snowing. It's icky. So I hope everyone's having better weather than we are here. Good morning, Belinda. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, r, &R. Good morning, Go Go Granny. <laughs> Good morning, Lisa F. Hello, hello. So we're going to give it a few minutes. Just hope everyone is doing really well. Hi, Belinda. So today we're going to do some costume. We're going to do some different items. These pair of earrings will come up later. These are gorgeous. These are Lizzie Fortunato earrings. They are fantastic. So I'm going to do those a little bit later. We're going to stop, start off real gentle this morning. <laughs> Good morning, Angela. Good to see you. Let everyone come in and say hello to each other. Hi, Lisa F. I think I already said hi to you. I'm watching it scroll. So yeah, we're gonna have a whole bunch of different stuff. There will be some sterling, there will be some costume. Um, we're gonna do some little lots. We're gonna do choices of fashion rings as well. Making sure I have all my equipment ready to go and the lighting looks okay, so that's good. And I know you guys can hear me. Good morning, Lori. So today I am wearing my scarab bracelet that I got from Sue from Denim to Diamonds. I collect uh, Egyptian Revival. So I am always looking for one that fits because of the eras that the, these were made. They're usually very small. So I was lucky to find one that actually fits me. So I love it. Good morning, Sue. Look, I'm watch. I'm wearing your bracelet this morning. Came to me Saturday. I love it, and it fits me perfect. Thank you. So, for those that were at the auction for Denim to Diamonds and myself and Tanya, I will be doing the invoicing today after this sale. So, those will all be included. <clears throat> I do ship international. Um, I'm not sure if Australia has opened up yet or not, so I will look and see, and you guys may know better. Um, shipping in the U.S. is $5 for anything under one pound, and anything over one pound, it goes by your zip code and your the weight of your item. morning good morning okay so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off gentle <laughs> i have my huge slab of selenite my friend cat mines this in new mexico and does she do a fantastic job and this bad boy weighs 20 pounds selenite is very soft it's like a two on the scale so i have to be real careful with what i put on here but it is fantastic all right so what I'm going to do is bring these fashion rings up and we're going to do a choice. Yeah, Belinda, I tell you, this thing is great. I have selenite all over my house. I use it because I'm also a paranormal investigator and I do hospice as a volunteer as well. So I always have selenite on me. I just 
absolutely love it. It calms me. So, and that's always a good thing when you're sitting with a patient that is passing. So, yeah, it's beautiful. 20 pounds is bad boy ways. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I will give you the sizes on this. We'll start with row A here. These are all fashion. We'll get to the sterling in a little bit. I just wanted to give everyone a chance to get in, wake up, get their coffee. I have my coffee earrings on. So this one measures in at a 10. It's silver tone, faux turquoise heart. So that's a size 10. Then we have a mixed metal. It kind of looks like a copper ring. This was in the video that I did with Dr. Lori. Uh, this is one of the pieces that came out of that lot that I had opened with her. This is just a tad over eight inches and it's a brass, or I'm sorry, yeah, a brassy copper tone. Fun piece. Then we have a faux marble. It's large. This fits anywhere from like a seven to a seven and a half. You see right there in the middle. So we've got the round one and that's gold tone. And then we also have this one, which fits about a seven. It depends on your hand, on your finger. This is also faux marble. This one is cool. This is shell, or I'm sorry, bone. I can't even talk. <laughs> this is not bone. This is um, tusk. Not tusk. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't think. This is, um, oh, it'll come to me. If anyone knows what this is offhand, it's some kind of, oh, I don't know. We'll have to think on that. I know one of you knows. So this is great. Let me get you a size on this. I haven't had enough coffee yet. This fits in at a six and a half. It's gorgeous. This is horn. Thank you very much, Ashley. My brain has not had enough coffee yet. And then this one's fun. This is lucite with butterflies on the inside. And... This is a size eight. It's a fun one. All right. So what we're going to do is um, choice for $5 on the rings for the first row. Row one. If anyone is interested, and I can give you the sizes again. So, yeah, these are really pretty. I like this one. The silver tone with the heart is one of my favorites. And the horn and the butterflies, you know. I'm thinking spring now that it's snowing. <laughs> Good morning, Kristen. So, what we're doing for those that just came in is choice on the first row of rings. They're $5. Silver tone band ring with a faux turquoise heart. Mixed metal ring. Faux marble, faux marble, horn, and lucite. And they are choice for $5. If there's no interest, oh, you'll take the butterfly one? Okay. What I need you guys to do is put want in there. That would be the easiest. But yes, Lisa, let me get that for you. I see you. It's just easier for me to see that out of the uh, chat. So, Lisa F. I believe I have your in information, Lisa. If I don't, could you please email me at timelessjewelbydebra at gmail.com at... at uh, gmail.com and I will get that put in my database. All right, let me bag it and tag it for you. Good morning, Laura. I agree with you. There is no better way 
to start the morning off, except for coffee, of course, right? <laughs> All right, so that's it for row one. I'll give it one more second, and then we'll go to row two. So I will remove this one. Some of these are adjustable, which is great. These are also $5 choice. The first one is a nine where it's at, and it is Aurora Borealis stone. This one was also in that video I did with Dr. Lori, um, where I did the thread up unboxing. This is a gunmetal with very beige and a dark smoky. And this one is a size seven. Then we have this gorgeous silver tone. It looks like a sapphire. It is not. <laughs> These are faux. Get you a measurement on this one. She measures in at seven and a quarter. It's beautiful. Beautiful blue. Then we have another band ring that's open on the back. Okay, so for this one, it's about a seven and a half. And it is a faux turquoise with rhinestones and marcasites around it. Then we have another one. This is a little bit larger. This is a size seven and a half and it has purple and green faux stones, gold tone. And then this one's a fun one. This is adjustable as well. This measures in where it's at right now, just under a seven and a half with purple and aqua and clear rhinestone silver tone. So row two, we are doing choice for $5. Let me get that put in. And all I need is want. Deborah, look. Okay, Lisa, what am I looking at? Well, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Okay. I don't see what you're looking for, Lisa F. Could you retype it for me, please? So we are in row two. Choice is $5. If you are interested in any of those, put the word want in. Okay, I'm looking. Okay, yeah, I got you for the butterflies. I'll send it to Lisa Liebers, not Lisa F. Okay. Let me correct that then. Lisa F. Lisa Liebers. Okay. I got that written down there. All right. So if I don't see any interest on row two, we'll go ahead and pass. And then we have four more rings before we start on some fashion bracelets. This is a vintage Dante's cat's eye ring. Let's see what size this is. This is gold tone. It is a size nine. And it's not adjustable. This is just for fit purpose. So that's a Dante. This is a brass tone. Faux onyx with rhinestone oval. Then we have another one that looks like a faux onyx. It is just above, it's about a seven and a quarter. Oops, get that in there for you. Nice large size ring. I love the decorations on the side. And then we have a honker. This one is a brass tone. Look at that. It's big. So it fits about a seven and a half. It has great design here. 
and it has a blue cabochon. So this also will be choice, $5. So we are on row three, choice is five. If anyone is interested, and I can give you the sizes again if you need them. Oops. All right. If I don't see any interest, we'll move along. And if there's anything that you guys saw in the preview that you want me to bring up, just let me know. I have some fun pieces. I have those amazing Lizzie Fortunato earrings. Oh, they are just fantastic. The beautiful shell in that is just great. And it has coral. Oh, love it. Okay. I don't see any. We're going to go ahead and pass. So, yeah, you guys have time if you want to look up the... Lizzie Fortunato earrings. These are called the Saint Florent earrings. They are stunning. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that in a little bit. All right, next up, we're going to bring some bracelets. We're going to do choice on this one as well. Our first one is hinged brass tone with green and flowers. Let me get you a measurement on this. Across it is two and a half. Let me get you the measurement for the inside where it comfortably fits is just over a seven. Then we have another hinged one, gold tone with blue. This one's really pretty. She measures in at just over a seven. Now this one here does have a little bit of wear on the brass tone. It is beautiful. Then we have this beautiful beige with rhinestone. This one is a J Crew. Let's see, there is the marking. All the stones are there. This one fits in at seven and three quarters. Then we have another hinged one in more of a caramel color with rhinestones, silver tone. And that fits in at about a seven and a half. Then we have this beautiful pink with white enamel and rhinestones in it. It is hinged as well. These are beautiful. This one fits in at a seven and a quarter inches. Then the last one is just a fun one. This I love. This is brass tone and it has camels on it. It is just so neat. I had to include him because he's just so cute. So he would fit in anywhere between a seven and a quarter and a seven and a half. So what we're going to do on this is choice uh for let's do five dollar choice yeah there's lots of lisas today usually it's the deb squad that's here <laughs> so your choice five dollars if you'd like I'll give it a minute or so. Okay, Granny, I see. Which one would you like, Granny? Okay. It's not an elephant. It's a camel. So let me show you that again. He's a camel. Good morning, Flipping Crazy. Glad to see you. Love your auctions. So 
So, fellas, just let me know if you want him. He is a camel. I don't think I have any elephants today. All right, we'll give Phyllis a second. Phyllis, do you want me to put this one aside for you? Good morning, Polly. Okay, I'm going to put this one on the side until we hear back from Polly. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> from Granite. Yes, the camel. Okay, great. And I see Polly in for choice. Which ones would you like or which one? There is the pink. We've got the lighter beige, the green, the blue, and the caramel color. The pink and the teal, these two right here. Okay, great. All right, and we have three of them left if anyone is interested. Got you bagged and tagged. Ready to go there. And for those that just came in, um, if you were at my auction with the Sioux on Friday, we I will be doing my invoicing today, and this will all be included. The pink and the teal. Okay. If there's no more interest, I'm going to go ahead and pull this row. And if you are watching in, in replay, just send me an email. These are still available at this time. All right. Let's do one more row of bracelets. These are really pretty. We've got mixed materials here. So I'm going to take them off. These ones will be a choice of for six. If I can type today, I tell you guys, I didn't want to drink too much coffee since, you know, don't want to be running to the bathroom. Okay, send me an email. That sounds good. I think I, I'll probably, I think I do have your information, but yes, please do choice for these bracelets is six. All right. So this is a Venturine stretch, gorgeous color. Then we have green glass with marbling. It's almost St. Patty's Day. Let me move that back. This one is faux pearl. This one is Chico's. If you can see that there with rhinestones. This is gorgeous. Then we have glass hearts. These are pretty pinks. And inside of the clear glass, they have a silver tone. Then we have another glass one. This one has angel wings and a cross on it. Stretch as well. And then this one is an antique gold tone. Stretch. All these stones are there. So these we are doing choice four, six. All you need to do is put want in the description, in the chat. Okay, Lisa, I see you. So these are $6. Which one would you like? Yeah, I love the glass and I love the adventuring. I'm, I'm a green girl, green and purple. <laughs> lots of glass, lots of stretch, fits everybody, easy to get over the hand. My computer is really lagging. Q 
Okay. We'll give Lisa, okay, you want the adventuring and the glass, please. Okay, which glass one? I have three glass ones. I have the green, the clear, and the hearts. Uh, flipping crazy. I don't have any cats today. I had frogs on Friday. Um, and we had a camel, but no, no cat today. <laughs> Did you want the clear one, Lisa? Give you a minute here. Ah, clear. Okay, no problem. All right. Yeah, it's beautiful. Got it bagged and tagged for you. Okay, and if there's any more interest in any of these, this one's the Chico's. This is glass, glass, and beautiful champagne -y color. I'll give it one more minute. And then we'll do just one more row. We'll get those off the table. All right. We'll go ahead and pass. You guys can always shoot me an email later. Okay. Then the last row is gold tone. Let me get these off here for you so you can see them better. I hope everyone's doing real well. This is really pretty. This is gold tone with rhinestones. All the stones are there. There is no maker's mark. It is a fold over clasp. This one fits in at a six and a half. Then we have a pink and green. This one is also small. It's just about six and three quarters. Pink with green. This one also has a fold over clasp. Then we have a gold tone 80s. <laughs> Beautiful bracelet. And it can be stretched. So about six and three quarters it could go up to. I mean, you could make it a little bigger. It just depends how much of your wrist you want out. It's pretty wide too. Let me get you a whiff on this one. So this has a width of one and a half inches. Okay, then we have this beautiful Graziano bracelet. It's a cut, or excuse me, a bangle with rhinestone and it has texturing. Love the Graziano. This is much larger. This is an eight and a half. And then I had to bring this up because it's super cute. It's an Alex and Ani with a pink faceted stone. This is adjustable as well. Hopefully the light, okay, there you go. Now you guys can see the pink. So for this one, we're gonna do choice for, let's see, let's do choice for seven. And then we're going to get on to some necklaces. Yeah, I love that pink. It is beautiful. I agree. I wanted to bring some springy colors, but I also have some other colors too. It is still snowing here. So, need that color. Yes, RJ Graziano. That is this one right here. And I can measure the side here for you. So, yeah, it's a nice biggie. It is just under three inch opening. And it's just over eight and a half inches. It's really pretty. Yes, R&R. &R. It is RJ. <clears throat> so we'll just give that another second and then we can move on. Hi, saved here first. All right. 
So if there's no interest, we will go ahead and pass. It is not gold over sterling, no. Oh, Polly, I see Polly in, okay. Polly, which one would you like? The Graziano, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. And any, if anyone else is interested, we'll give it another 30 seconds. And I will put them away and we will get to some fun pieces. All right, no interest. I'm going to go ahead and pull these. Okay. Let's do the faux. I'm going to have to pull you guys up here for a second. Sorry. We are going to do the faux turquoise necklace that was in the preview. Gently lay this out. It is silver tone. It is a faux turquoise in blue and green. And then what looks like a cat's eye necklace. Bring this up so you can see it. This is beautiful. It looks like shell, but it is not. Greens, blues. Nice silver tone length. This one measures in at nine inches. So it is a nine inch wearable. And we will do this one for a starting bid of eight. Let me get that put in. Okay, now we got it in. So yeah, this is really pretty show you what the back looks like I wanted to bring a little bit of everything <clears throat> it is a nice substantial weight as well huh thanks flipping crazy I appreciate that the thumbs up really do help. All right, if there's no interest, I will pull this necklace. And if you guys need me to bring it back later, just let me know. We'll give it 30 more seconds. All right. We are going to pass on this one. And don't mind my writing in caps. It's just easier for me when I come through. Okay, let's do, this is really cute. I have, a, <clears throat> excuse me, another few necklaces. It does remind me of a Chico's piece too. We have a vintage necklace, multi-strand. This one is marked. I need to get my loop. Hope everyone's had their coffee or whatever they drink for the morning. This one is marked Japan. This is a five-strand necklace, faux pearl. It's whites and beiges. It's gorgeous. I love this. It's marked here, Japan. Let me get you a measurement. This is one of the shorter ones. And you could put a extender on that for sure. So as it would sit now, it's a six on the shortest. And the largest would be about an eight and a half inch drop. So we're going to start this one at a starting bid for the vintage Japan necklace. We'll start it at eight. 
and I'll bring it up so you can see it a little bit. I love this one. This is textured. That's a cool bead. And there's clears with white swirl through it. Sh the chatoyance is beautiful on this. Beiges. Great vintage piece, Japan. I would say this is 50s or 60s. If there is no interest, I will pass in about 30 seconds. We'll keep it moving. I appreciate everyone being here. My lag is really bad on my computer, so. All right. We are going to pass. And then... Ah, thanks, Lisa. Yeah, I love this. This selenite is like, oh, I love it. This is part of the gypsum family, so it is very soft. All right, let's do a glittery necklace. This one is gold tone with rhinestones. There is no maker's mark on it. It has these beautiful balls here station necklace with crystals all the crystals are there that is the beautiful chain let me get you a measurement on her she's longer oh i have selenite all over my house so okay so this measures in at 16 inch drop gold tone so we will go ahead and do a Buy it now of eight on this if anyone is interested. I'll show you the clasp here. Here's the chain and there's the clasp. No maker's mark. Give you a second to bask in its glory. I'm going to probably bring up some Bakelite next. And it's all been tested Bakelite. I retested again last night because I always want to double and triple check. So on um, this necklace, we'll give it 30 more seconds and then we'll pass. So how's the weather by everybody? Hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> Yep, it started snowing again. I just saw it stop for a few minutes. All right, we are going to go ahead and pass on this necklace. All right. Are you guys interested in Bakelite? Would you like me to bring it out? I have earrings and I have bracelets. So just leave me a note in the chat if you are interested and I will pull those out for you. All right. Well, I will go ahead and show it since my lag time is really 80 degrees. Irene, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, cold and windy here. Yeah. Okay. Some Bakelite. And I did retest them all again last night. These are adorable colors. So I'll show you the first pair. We're going to do choice on these. Crazy winds, yeah. We had 80 mile per hour wind gusts the other evening. Um, and luckily no branches came down. We have about an acre and we have trees that were planted in the 60s. So uh, yeah, <laughs> big trees. So this is the first pair. These are all the clip. This one's multicolor. Then I have the red. It is a cherry red, and it has a little bit of striation right there. And I can give you a measurement if you would like. So we're doing the smaller sized ones first. These are a burnt orange that also have beautiful colors through them. So we'll start those. 
and we're going to do a starting bid on those pair of earrings for we'll start the bidding off at six and it'll be for choice if you'd like me to measure them this one measures in at just under one and a half these cherry red are one inch and these beautiful pumpkin color i guess i would call it are just over one inch so starting bid is six get the other ones lined up for the next Oh, 80 degrees. I would love 80 degrees. We did get a chance to go for a walk. I see Lorian at 6. Do we see 7? Yeah, we went for a walk Saturday. It was 70 here. And then we got home and then the storm blew through. It was severe thunderstorms. And unfortunately, uh, the state over in Iowa, there were some people killed from the tornado that swept through. So thoughts and prayers for them. Okay, I see Lori at six. If we don't see seven, we'll go ahead and start calling it for Lisa or for Lori. I told you I need more coffee. Okay. Lori, what colors would you like or color? We've got the green and the orange, the red and the orange. We'll give it a second. Good morning, strong minds. We are doing choice right now on Bakelite earrings. Lori is in at six. Okay, you want the multicolored green and the orange. All right, got that for you. They're gorgeous. I love Bakelite, and everyone should have at least a piece or two in their collection. All right, so we've got that, and we've got the red pair, if anyone else would like those. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pass on these. They are still available if anyone would like them at this time. All right, let's do another pair of earrings. These are an avocado green with brown. I'm trying to block that light a little bit so you can see that color. All clip on. And then we have this beautiful rust color. And then we have a sort of clear orange. These are beautiful. Love them, love them, love them. And then we do have one more pair of green. These are also a clearish green. And the size on these ones are about just under one and a half inches. Making sure, yes. And they all have their clip on. So for these, we're going to do a uh, starting bid for choice. These ones, we're going to start at eight. And then I do have some bracelets coming up. I have three. Oh, you want just the mis okay. You want just the multicolor, Lori. Okay, let me pull those back out. Okay, I will get rid of the orange. And I will fix that on your bag. All right, Lori, gotcha. Push those back out into view there for you. And those are a starting bid of eight.
I see Lori. Okay. Anyone coming in for nine? Lori is in at eight. We'll give it another second. All right. Sold to Lori. Let me know which color or colors you'd like. The camel color. I'm assuming you want the avocado. Are these the ones you would like? Because we have orange, green, red, and then the avocado. You're welcome, Lori. So these ones? Okay, great. And if anyone else is interested, if not, we will go ahead and start passing in about 10 seconds. All right, so I got those for you, Lori. Okay, we'll pull these. All right, and then we have three bracelets. We have a green multi, and it's got some stripes of yellow through it. This one fits at about a seven and a half. So we've got the green. Then we've got a beautiful, I would call it a light burgundy. It's an eight. Look at that shape. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> and this is more of a sienna color. And then we have this beautiful green with striations in it. Absolutely gorgeous. This one's a little thicker. I'll get you the width on them. This one is seven and three quarters all right let me get you the width so for the green one the light green it measures in at 10 millimeters for the darker green it is just at 10 millimeters and this one's fantastic i love it this one is a three and a half millimeter so we will do choice on uh, I'm sorry starting bid for choice and for these starting bid will be 15 here's that beautiful dark green with the striations the light green with the yellow in there And then the Sienna. Okay, I see Lori in at 15. We're looking for 16 or better. Give it a second. All right. We will be calling it for Lori Wool. All right, Lori, which colors would you like or color? We've got the dark green, the light green, and the sienna. Sienna, please. Okay. Got it. So we have the two green left. Got it 
fagged and tagged for you, Lori. Nice little mini collection there. All right, we will go ahead and pull these. All righty. We're gonna do one more necklace and then I'll start getting out some sterling. This is a antiqued gold tone with beige gold tone and then a light cream color. Oh yes, Ashley, these are stunning. These are the um, Lizzie Fortunato earrings. They're called the Saint Florent. They are abalone, coral, mother of pearl, enamel. They are fantastic. So you've got time to look them up. I thought I'd just put them there because they're just so gorgeous. I love those earrings. Okay, and back to the chain. This is the back. There is no maker's mark on this one. It is a lighter washed gold tone. Let me get you a measurement. Sounds great, Lori. Okay, so this is an eight and a half inch wearable length and that is fully extended. Good morning, Devin G. So for that necklace, we're gonna do a buy it now of seven for the necklace. Good morning, Johnny. So glad you could stop by. I appreciate your support. So starting bid on that one is a seven. If there's no interest in about 30 seconds, I will go ahead and pull that. Hope everyone is doing really well today. All right. If there's no interest, we will go ahead and pass. All right, so it's time for some sterling rings. We'll put that in the pass pile. All right. Let's do... We're going to start off with a coral ring. I will get you the size on that. This is gorgeous silver tone. Or I'm sorry, sterling silver. Look at how high that sits up. It's gorgeous. Let me get you the millimeter on this one. If I can only find where I put it. There we go. Okay. So the millimeter on this is a 10 by 6. Gorgeous. It is adjustable, which is fantastic. Get you the size. As it sits right now, it is a seven and a half. Beautiful side there. Nice high rise. Coral. So we are gonna do a starting bid on this of 20. Coral and sterling silver. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out um, Johnny's channel, he is fantastic. We, we love to go there and start the mornings. And tonight is bingo night. So we that's my relax time. And that's Return of Cajun Roots Reseller. So make sure you guys check him out. Okay. So if there's no interest in this one, we'll go ahead and move on. Okay, we will go ahead and pass.
The next one we're bringing up is gorgeous. It is just spark. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Look at that. This is cubic zirconia. It is sterling silver with a gold vermeil. It is marked right there. Beautiful. I can get you a measurement on this stone. The size on which one, Cindy? Are you looking for the size on the um, coral ring? The coral ring is a seven and a half, seven three quarters, but it is adjustable. It is gorgeous. Okay. So I'll put that to the side in case you decide you want it. <clears throat> and it's a starting bit of 20 on that one. Okay. So back to the cubic zirconia. Just let me know in chat, Cindy, if you want it, and then I can bag it and tag it for you. This is gorgeous. The millimeter, this is huge. And this CZ is fantabulous. <laughs> it is eight millimeter. And this is just the center stone by six millimeter. Then we have the two rectangular and they are four millimeter by three millimeter. And it is set in gold tone and it has pave stones. This is fantastic. And this one, did I give you a size? Let's give you another size. This one is small. This is at just over a five. This one, we're going to do a starting bid of 15. For the CZ. It is a beautiful ring. It has such a shimmer. These are great for wearing on vacation when you don't want to wear your jewelry. You're afraid to lose it. I don't wear my wedding ring on any vacations. I always take a ring like this. Never can be too careful. Cindy, did you want me to uh, pull that ring for you? I saw a yes, but I wanted to make sure that... Yes? Okay. All right, we'll give that another second. I'll mark that coral for you. Okay, and if there's no interest in the CZ, we will go ahead and pull her. Let's bring up a fun one. This also was in that video that, okay, Cindy, I gotcha. This was also in the video that I did with Dr. Lori. This was one of the pieces that came out. Hopefully you guys can see the sparkle. It is fantastic. This is a Kendra Scott. It's called the Megan Ring, and it's Mother of Pearl. And this is all Whopper. It is gorgeous. So let me get you the measurement. The stone is gorgeous because it is such a free form shape and the pearl essence is just fantastic. I will bring it up so you can see that. Hopefully my light doesn't shine it out too much. It is fantastic. And it's silver tone. And it is marked. This is a Kendra Scott. And it's the Megan ring. There you can see. Oops, I got her upside down. Kendra Scott. It is gorgeous. This one measures in at an 8. It is beautiful. And let me get you the measurement. This one, we're going to do a starting bid of 25. So this is a honker. It's nice to be able to open the calipers that high. 
So this is a 34 millimeter. Yeah, <laughs> so this thing is fantastic. At the widest part of the free form mother of pearl, it is 28. And at the top, it has a opening, uh, or I'm sorry, a millimeter of 15. Yeah, this bad boy is gorgeous. Okay, I see Ashley in a 25, Lori in a 27. We're going up by twos or ones. That's fine too, Ashley. <laughs> okay, yeah, she's gorgeous. That sparkle is just fantastic. Okay, I see Laura, uh, Ashley, then Lori. She is a beautiful ring. And I do have a Kendra Scott bag that I will put this in a dust bag. It is just fantastic. It's a hunk. It sits up at seven millimeters above. You can see it's prong set. It is beautiful. Okay, I see Lori in. Lori, I see you at 40. Out to Lori. Okay, so we've got 40. It is very pretty. It is fantastic. So we'll give that another minute, see if anyone else wants to come in. It is gorgeous, Lori. Congratulations. We are sold to Lori for 40. Congratulations. It's gorgeous. Okay, let me bag that for you. It is, Granny. Oh, it's gorgeous. Kendra Scott uses some really good materials. I like her different stones. Okay, I got that bagged and tagged for you. We are going to do a sterling silver ring. This also, oh, this came in from, we did a Cupid challenge. There were some of us resellers that do jewelry and handbags and designer clothing through ThreadUp. For Valentine's Day, we did a Cupid exchange. So I sent 15 pieces of jewelry, including some sterling and designer handbags. So we did five, or I should say four bags, a, um, and then or a wallet or a belt or something like that. And then 15 pieces of jewelry. So this I got in my Cupid exchange. It was fun. We had a great time. There is a little bit of wear here that needs to be buffed out. That's the great thing about sterling is it can be buffed. There's minor scratching. Nice band. This is a gorgeous piece. Nice large size. Get to the size on this. And it is marked. This is a Mexican piece. It is marked. Or I'm sorry. It is an eight and three quarters. It is marked Mexico 925, and it's heavy. You can see right there. And the marking, get that up for you. It's upside down again. Okay, 925 Mexico. And I will get you guys the weight on this. This one is very heavy. Oh, my computer just went off, so if you guys are chatting, I am missing it. So, let me get the scale out. We will start her up. Change her to grams. We don't want fluid ounces. Alright. This one is 13 grams. 13 to 14. It keeps swapping. So, on the safe side, let's say... 13 grams, Mexico, sterling silver. So for this one, let's do, I'm not going to be able to type it in because i got to restart my computer. <laughs> we are going to do a starting bid of 20. Beautiful, nice and heavy. 
Don't you love technology sometimes? I'm trying to get back on. Okay, I see Kristen D in at 20. We're looking for 21 or better. Thank you, Sue. I appreciate that. The size. Yeah, it's lovely. Actually, I think this is one of the pieces you had asked about. I'm not sure. It's an eight and a half. This was the one that I got from Sweet Lily in my bag. So, there we go. I see Kristen in a 20. And I see Phyllis in at 21. Twenty-two for Ashley. It is a beautiful heavyweight ring. I see Kristen D in for twenty-four. Thank you, ladies, for your bids. It's really pretty. Ashley at twenty-six. Okay, we still have Ashley in at twenty-six. So, Granny, you need to go up. 227 or Kristen up good morning Tanya the sides you know I just said it twice and you'd think I'd remember <laughs> it, it is about an eight and a half Tanya so we're up at 27 with Kristen D and it is Mexico 925 it does need a buffing some minor scratches on the sterling but it is solid And it is 13 and a half ish grams. Okay, see, so Ashley is out. We've got Kristen D in at 27. We'll start calling it for Kristen. Okay, I see everyone else is out. Okay, congratulations, Kristen. Beautiful ring. Nice heavyweight. Okay, we will bag it and tag it for you. And then I have one more ring from this batch. Yay! <laughs> from the batch that was also sent in my Cupid box. This is from Lily. This one I just absolutely love. It's so delicate and dainty. Make sure I get the bag here. Okay. So this is turquoise with CZ. Yeah, that one is gorgeous, isn't it? And it's a real pearl in the center. I love how it goes down, elongates into the center. Bring it up here a little closer for you. Yeah, you remember this one. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It is Mark Sterling. It is marked on this one, A-N-L-925. And this one, we're going to start at, uh, let's start at 23 for this one. Let me get you a size. It's just at a 7. I see Ashley in for 23. It is gorgeous. Very nice. You guys can see a little bit of that sparkle. Okay, I see Ashley in for 23. Looking for 23 or better. Right, Tanya? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Yes, it is very gorgeous. All right, so we're going to go ahead and count it down. We are at 23. Oh, 
All right. So we are calling it sold for Ashley. Congratulations. It is a beauty. Yeah, all in one. I know. I, there is just something about pearls. I just love pearls. I have a ton of pearls to go through. All right. We've got it bagged for you. Congratulations. Pearls are making a comeback, and they should. They are just so, and they feel so good on your skin. Oh, my goodness. Congrats, Ashley. All right. Let's move over to a set. I'm going to move the stone. This set was in my preview. Don't mind me reaching in front of you. Okay. So it's a three-piece set. It's a necklace and a stretch bracelet. And it definitely tests as a stone. This would be a some kind of composite where they, you know, smash it up and then put it together. But it is natural stone. So this is stretch. Then we have the matching earrings. They are lovely. And then we have the necklace, which has a toggle at the back, different shaped stones. This one is gorgeous. Let me give you a measurement on that one. Yeah, I thought it was Ocean Jasper too, but I won't swear by it. So, and, and the reason I thought that is because here with the different colorizations, yeah, it is beautiful, and it's a nice weight. So it is a 16-inch wearable on the necklace. And it has the bracelet stretch. And let me get you a measurement on the earrings. I just love the colors. They hang down to just over two and a half inches by three quarters of an inch. So for this one, we're going to start, uh, let's do a starting bid of 25 for the set. It is fantabulous. This one was also in the preview. Huh, thanks, Ashley. I may be pulling up that uh, cameo that I got that one time, the Amadeo, um, for one of my next sales. So there's the earrings. Let me bring this up here. For the stones, different colors. Oh, pen mark. Toggle clasp. Starting bit is 25. There's the bracelet and the earrings and the findings are silver tone ah very nice ashley ah oh, thanks ashley i appreciate that i try to bring you guys the best items I can. And I have a lot of people that love to buy costume to craft with. So I love to bring every price point, every material, um, make it available. You know, why not, why not reuse some of the pieces? I see Lindsay in a 25. It is a wonderful deal. The necklace, the bracelet, and the earrings. So we've got Lindsay in at 25, looking for 26 or better. Beautiful coloration. Yeah, I tell you, Ashley, the craftsmanship in some of these pieces are just amazing. Okay. So if there's no other interest, we will call this sold to Lindsay. 
Congratulations. It's a beautiful set. Beautiful, beautiful. Congratulations, Lindsay. I'm going to put it in a bag and get it tagged for you. And I will put up the next lovely. We're going to do a necklace. It's sterling silver. This also was in the preview. It's an 18-inch chain. It, the chain just has such beautiful sparkles. It's a 1.3 millimeter chain. This is a soda light. Beautiful blue and white. And it's got a little bit of the matrix in there. It's oval shape, marked 925. The chain is also marked. We will, yeah, look at that. Isn't that color gorgeous? I'm hoping the color isn't too washed out by the bright lights. Let me bring this up. There we go. That's more of a true color. So we're going to do a starting bid on this one. Of, let's start it at 18, starting bid. It is gorgeous. And that chain is 18 inches. And for any of those that are just coming in, you can email me at timelessjewelbydebra at gmail.com with your information. Okay. This is just beautiful. Here's the back. Okay, I see Granny in, and then I see Irene. Block that color a little bit. It's really pretty. I love the shape as well. Sterling silver, the bale is marked. It has been tested. Here is the chain. It is also marked. Beautiful sparkle on this one. And I like that it already has like a built-in extender here like that. You could make it smaller if you'd like. Soda light. Bring that up. Okay, I see Irene in at 20. We're going to bring Big Bertha back in. <laughs> I love this stone. Okay. We're going to start calling it for Irene. Uh, Phyllis, are you out? We'll give that another second. It is beautiful. All right, we're going to call this a sold. Oh, nope, I see Phyllis came in at 21. We are looking for 22 or better. It is very pretty, Lindsay. Love the color. And it's a little bit darker blue than what it's showing on the screen. Okay, Irene, would you like to come in at 22? Phyllis is at 21. Give some time for lag. Out to Phyllis. Okay. Thank you very much for letting me know. If there's nobody else coming in, we are going to go ahead and call it for Phyllis. Congratulations. It's beautiful. Love the color on it. Okay. There it is. There's your lovely. You are most welcome, everybody. And thanks for bidding and being here. I appreciate it. It's a Monday morning. Okay, let's do another one. This one, I love it. I do one more necklace here, sterling silver. And this one is a quartz or a dendrite agate. The, it is, could be either one. It definitely tests as stone. 
I call this the snow opal. And you're going to see, here, I'm going to black it right there. You can see it looks like a mountain range. It's white and black and gray. It kind of looks like, almost like a picture jasper, how it makes beautiful. It's white, black, and like a very faint blue sterling silver. A silver. That's the back of the stone. Set in sterling silver. It is marked. The chain is also an 18 inch. This one's lovely. So yeah, it's a toss up. It could be either the snow opal quartz or the dendrite agate. It's fantastic. Do you guys see that picture there? Kind of like a mountain range with snow coming down. All right. So we're going to do this one with a starting bid of 20 on this one. It is sterling silver marked. Absolutely beautiful. I just love that color. Perfect any time of year. Let me get you a size on the pendant. It is one inch across. Hangs down to one and a half. It is marked there in the bail. And the chain is also 1.3 millimeter. Very dainty, very shiny. And it is also marked. It's a starting bit of 20. We'll give that a second. All right, we will go ahead and pass. Thank you. Maybe we'll do one more ring. Let's pull out a Labradorite. Now, hopefully my lighting is not too, too bright. Labradorite can be very hard to see. So I'm going to kind of block it. It's got green, blue flashes. Yeah, I think it's a dendric opal too. It is beautiful. Okay, Deb. Oh, Deb, you wanted the other ring? Or I'm sorry, the necklace, the dendrite? Yes. Okay. So that's the one you want. Let me go ahead and bag and tag it. And you guys can look at beautiful Labradorite. Yeah, let's. I know. I love Labradorite. I just got in a new big pendant. I mean, big pendant, but I need to find the right chain for it. It's fantabulous. Okay, so Deb and G, we have you in for that necklace at 20. Congratulations. It is gorgeous. Wear it in good health, ladies. All right, got that bagged and tagged. All right, so this is Labradorite. Sterling Silver. Bye, Granny. Thank you. Try to block that. Beautiful. It's got such beautiful colorization on it. And I love how it's set. And it is marked. Oops, let me get it up here. 925. Don't know if you guys can see that. It is just absolutely a beautiful piece. It's heavy. Let me turn on my scale. We're still in grams, so that's good. This one is 13 grams. It is beautiful. Let me give you a size on this one. This is fantastic. All right, this is larger. This is just over a nine. Try to get that, there we go. You guys can see a little bit of the color. So this one, we're doing a starting bid of 28 on it. 
it's a nice hefty size beautiful round love the decoration the time that must take and um, let me get you a millimeter <laughs> you're funny yeah oh yeah it's gorgeous the millimeter on the setting center setting is 10. nice size i see lori in at 28. it is fantastic looking for 29. I would put her on my spinner, but I'm afraid that the light is going to... Wow, okay, Ashley's in at 33. I'm afraid that the light would just wash it out too much. It is beautiful. Okay, so we have Ashley in at 33. Looking for 34. Okay, I see Lori in at 35. Yeah, it's a beautiful ring. Okay, we've got Ashley in at 40. And it's hard to find the bigger sizes. A lot of the rings that I seem to have been getting lately are like a 7 and under. Beautiful lift there. Okay, so we've got Ashley in at 40. Oh, okay. Thank you, Lori, for letting us know, and thank you for your bids. We're going to mark this as a sold to uh, Miss Ashley. We're in good health, Ashley. Congratulations. Bag it and tag it for you. Congrats. This is beautiful. Okay, we got it marked for you. Yes, congrats. It is beautiful. All right. Let's do a fun piece. This one, I don't remember where I got it. It was in the video. It's, I call it the Sewing Crafters set. So here are the earrings, their costume. And they have scissors. This is like perfect for a seamstress or a crafters. So these are the earrings. This was in the preview. And then we have a three strand necklace. Let me show you the bottom here. So you can see it's got the sewing machine. It's got buttons, scissors, a roll of thread, another button, bow pearl. I'm gonna move you guys up a little bit. So you can see that second layer is just a chain. And then the shortest layer has two rhinestones and a pair of scissors. I love this piece. I thought it was so fun when I saw this. Let me move Big Bertha here. It's very long, but what a great gift for Mother's Day for any crafter or seamstress. So the necklace is three strands. The shortest strand measures in get that, at a 15 inch wearable and the cute scissor earrings, these are silver tone, measure down to two inches. It is a fun one and it's so big and heavy that I really can't put it on a bust on a neck. So we'll try to kind of lay it out here for you. You guys can look at that one. It is so fun. So for this one, we're going to do a starting bid of 10. And he has the cute silver tone earrings. The three strands. I just thought it was so fun and how great. It's a charm necklace. Love it. There's the buttons, the rhinestones, the scissors. We'll give this 30 more seconds. A 
and then we'll go ahead and pass. All right, we are going to pass on this one. All right, it is a fun one though. I had to include it. But, you know, it's a Monday, right? So, <laughs> gotta do it. All right. I am also going to be doing later uh, boxes like these that will be full of jewelry. There will be at least eight pieces, maybe ten, and beautiful box. So I will carefully put, they will be all wearable jewelry and or resellable, different colors, different styles. So I'm going to do these boxes later. If you guys are interested, just let me know in, in the chat if you're interested. Um, and this would be shipped for $40. So if you guys are interested, just let me know. And I'll bring it up again later. Give you guys some time to think about that. All right. Let's bring up another piece of costume jewelry. This one I absolutely love. This is a Leah Sophia. Here is the marking. And this is testing as a pink a jadeite. I've got pressing on. And we are looking for it to go right here. It is beautiful pink. This light washes it out. I would call it a medium to light pink. So let me go ahead and test it. We're looking for jadeite right there. All right, there we go. Right into jadeite. Beautiful pink color. I would call this a light bubble gum. Here, I'm going to kind of go like this. So I can block that harsh light so you can see it. It was new with the tag. Part, part of the tag is on there. I believe Leah Sophia closed in 2015, if I'm correct. Don't quote me on that. But uh, some lovely jewelry. And she did a lot in rose quartz and rose jade. So this is Choker. It is a seven and a half. Bring her back up here for you. We're going to go ahead and do a starting bid on this one. Let's start her at 15. Good morning, Jane and anyone else I've missed. So this is the Leah Sophia starting bid of 15. Pink jadeite. And you could put an extender. There is the Leah Sophia mark. Hang tag there. Also here. I love that clasp. It's nice and heavyweight. So pink jadeite. Give that a minute. A glittery day is always good. That is for sure. All right, if there's no interest, we'll give it another 30 seconds. Good morning, Gail. I'm not sure if I said hello. We are going to call this pass. Thank you. All right. Next up, I'm going to bring up one of the bracelets that was in the preview. It's the Bobble Bar. It looked like a J. King, or excuse me, a J. Crew piece to me at first. Let's bring Big Bertha back in. This is gorgeous. Oh, Deb, you're in for the jadeite. Okay, I just saw you. This is what you're looking for, Deb and G. Okay. Great. Let me get you bagged and tagged. So that piece is Bobble Bar. It is an antique um, brass tone. And it intentionally has like black marks. So it looks like it's been worn and loved. The stone is um, a London blue color. They are faceted and they are oval shaped. 
Okay, and I just want to make sure I got this for Deb and G. All right. Okay, great. It is gorgeous. Bobble Bar looks like J. Crew. It has that London Blue Topaz color. Let me bring it up here. This is a gorgeous color. And you'll see what I mean. It's like they intentionally marked it to make it look like it's been worn and loved. And it is a true London blue color. It is fantastic. This was in the preview. This is what it looks like. Here is the back. There is the marking. Upside down, of course. It's Monday. <laughs> Let me get you a measurement on her. She's lovely. Yeah, Jane, I love Leah Sophia. I think the that they're just really good quality jewelry. Okay, this cannot be extended. It has a fold over clasp. The most it can go is about six and three quarters. It is gorgeous. So for the bobble bar, let's do a starting bid of 10 on her. She's beautiful. No missing stones. Beautiful color. Okay. I'm going to set her down. Oh, I see Lindsay in at 10. We are looking for 11 or better. It is gorgeous. It is. The size, Irene, is, I believe, six and three quarters, I would say, because it has a fold over clasp. So the most it can go is just under six and three quarters. I would say a six and a half comfortably. My wrist is too big, so. And I'm a seven. That's about, I could get the clip there, but I could never get it over. It is beautiful. So we've got Lindsay in at 10. Looking for 11. Otherwise, we're going to start calling it for Lindsay. Give it a second for lag. You're welcome. All right, we are going to call this sold to Miss Lindsay. Congratulations, it's beautiful. Wear it in good health. It is such a fantastic color. Oh, look at that. I can't even spell. <laughs> oh, coffee. Okay, let's do a fun one. We are going to do a leather bracelet. Trying to keep it different for everybody. This is a sodalite flower with green chunk. You know what? Let me test the green. I don't think I tested the green. I know they're sodalite. And you can see the satellite striations. So we're going to try to do this chip here. Ah, slippery little suckers. All right. And that's... It is definitely testing as a stone. It is a light green color. Let me give you the back here. It has a beautiful twisted. It's brown. And let me get you a size. You could make it a little larger. Turn it around so you can see. It is a seven leather. Here's the stones again. It's large. Let me get you the millimeter on that one. So at the top, it is just under two and a half hard to say because that flower is raised 
And the opening as it sits right now is one and three quarters. Have a great day, Lori. Thank you very much. So we're going to do this one for a buy it now of, let's do a buy it now of 10. It is beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful stones and love that flower shape. And this one is a buy it now of 10. I can get it on my wrist and I wear a seven. If there's no interest, we'll start passing. All right, we are going to go ahead and pass on this lovely. All right, who wants some sparkle? We are going to do, oh, this, I hope the light doesn't wash it out. This is a pave set through and through. It is a J. Crew. It is gold tone. There is no missing stones on her. This is heavy. No missing rhinestones. Beautiful links. Ah, oh, you're welcome, Deb. That's okay, I gotcha. And it's got the beautiful hang tag here, the J. Crew. This is on the shorter side. Oh, it's so much sparkle. Let's get you a measurement. And I'll give you a weight, too. It's big. So this would fit an eight comfortably. Yeah, that is some bling, isn't it? I tell you, J. Crew makes some of the most beautiful jewelry. And I'm going to weigh that for you. It is pretty darn heavy. And it is gold tone. Almost a brass tone, but more of a gold tone. It's 123 grams. So I wasn't kidding when I said it's heavyweight. Beautiful. And I can't remember who always says it, but it's future future business. Or <laughs> future future vintage. All right. I need coffee. All right. Yes. Bling bling bling. So we'll do this one at a starting bid of Let's start her at 15. It is blingy bling bling. Beautiful coloration. I'm holding the UV, the UV light above it just because these lights are really washing out the stones. But they have spectacular shine and sparkle. Absolutely gorgeous. And I can't believe there's no missing stones. It is lovely. So starting bid, looking for 15. And welcome to everyone that came in. If I missed you, sorry. I do this by myself, so. <laughs> All right. If there's no interest, we will go ahead and pass. Oh, okay. 15. Is that is that a yes, Kristen? Before I pass. Yes, okay, great. Looking for 16. If there is no other interest, we will call it sold in about 30 seconds. To Miss Kristen. All right, sold. Enjoy it. Wear it in good health. It is fantastic. All right, love that piece. And the weight, I mean, 123 grams is amazing. Kristen D, 15. 
enjoy and thank you. All right. Let's bring up another fun necklace. I'm trying to keep it a little different. All right. We are going to do, it's on a cord and it is a resin with chips in here. This is the chakra colors. Beautiful, all set in resin. You can see the chips there. And then it has a copper swirl piece design. Let me show you the bail. I love the bail as well. There's the bail. Beautiful color. It is on a string cord. And she measures in at about an eight and a quarter. Let me get you a size on a dependent. It's nice and lightweight. It goes down to just under two and a half by a half inch. Chakra colors. Turn it sideways there. This were really popular in the 70s and now it's coming back and it never should have gone out of style, that's for sure. So the chakra necklace. We're going to do it a buy it now of $7 if anyone's interested. We'll give it about 30 seconds. Okay, I see Tanya in at seven. All right. It is sold to Miss Tanya. Thank you very much. I will bag it and tag it for you. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. All right. We are going to do one more J. Crew bracelet. Um, this one was also in the video. It is acrylic gold tone. I'm bringing some bling. It's snowing. Well, ooh, hey, it actually stopped. And this is just a fantastic color. This I would call a, a mid aqua marine color. It looks a little bit more blue here in this light. It is gold tone. These stones are beautifully faceted and it is acrylic. These stones measure in the full setting. Each station is 20 millimeters by just under 14 millimeters. It is a Jew, Jew, uh, Jew, Jew. It is a J Crew piece. That's what the back looks like. You get your measurements. It is a gorgeous one. And the color, like in the picture of for the preview, it was very difficult to get that color to come through. It's one of those colors that is hard to photograph. So it sits at a six and a half. But there is a little bit of an extender, so we go to just over a seven. It is gorgeous. This one, we're going to go ahead and do a starting bid of seven. Really pretty, isn't it, Ashley? I love the color. Try to block it. It is fantabulous. There's the backing. And it is a size seven. Bring in some color. Okay, I see Lindsay in at seven. Thank you. We're looking for eight. eight or better. Okay. I see seven for Lindsay. 
Okay, I see Ashley in at eight. Looking for nine. Got Ashley in at eight. Lindsay, if you'd like to come up to nine or just let us know if you're out. Beautiful color. Nice lightweight. All right, I see Lindsay in at nine. I'm looking for 10. All right, Ashley's in at 10. Looking for 11 or out, just let us know. Okay, Lindsay, if you want to let us know if you're out. Oh, oh, I see you. My lag's bad. We've got Lindsay in at 11. Beautiful. Looking for 12. I'm going to refresh my chat. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Give it a little more time here. I'm waiting for my computer to refresh. It must be the weather because I normally don't have this problem. I can usually get the chat to pop back up. I can get the video, but not the chat right now. So, all right, now nope, there we go, out. All right, so sold to Miss Lindsay. Congratulations for 11. It is beautiful, enjoy it. It is a gorgeous piece. And that color, you're just gonna love it when you see it. Okay, congrats. Okay, let's bring up an artisan made piece. I believe I put this one in the preview as well. This is a glorious necklace. It is made by a J Fresh or Frish. It was signed, I had a few of these. Um, I found them locally probably about 20 years ago. And this has been sitting aside and you can only see part of her tag. And it was originally marked, it looks like at 80. This is a gold or a yellow with art glass with little chips. Let me see if we can bring that up here. There is speckles of white, red, blue. They are glass. And these are a brass tone bead. It is a lovely necklace. And I give props to everyone that makes jewelry. It is so time consuming. Oh my Lord, you guys, the sun just is shining out. I can't believe it. Okay, so it is a 15 inch wearable. Let me show you her class. Isn't that pretty? It's got a hidden clasp. No markings on it. That's how it goes in and out. Beautiful. This is heavyweight. Let me give you a measurement. This is glass. Measures in at 101 grams. Beautiful colorization. We'll do her for a buy it now of 15 if anyone is interested. Beautiful speckles of color there. I just absolutely love this. The millimeter on some of the squares are 12 by 8. Beautiful. Hi, Yippee Io. Good morning. Yeah, it's pretty. So, $15. Okay, 
Congratulations and good morning. For those just coming in, I will be doing the invoicing later today from the sale that we had and the sale that I had with um, Sue from Denim Jute Diamonds. So that I will be doing today. All right, congratulations. It is beautiful. Get that bagged and tagged for you. Great. Then we have a Brighton in its dust bag. This also was in the video that I did with Dr. Lori V. Huh. It was fun, Tanya. I, I agree. And it's kind of nice when there's more than one seller because then that way, you know, we're all human. If we have to get up and get coffee or run to the ladies' room, we can do that comfortably. <laughs> there gives us some time. Plus, it's just fun. So this is a beautiful leather in a turquoise color. It is marked Brighton right there with the B. Silver tone. Beautiful. And this is how it comes off right here. I'm going to put it back on and measure it on the mandrel because of the curvature. So this would fit comfortably at a seven. It is gorgeous. Very nice Brighton piece. We will start the Brighton at 15. It is gorgeous. We got the little dust bag for it. Oh, Ashley, I tell you, it is so nice to be able to share the screen and you know it's great because a lot of the times we're at home we're we're digging into jewelry and it's great to have that camaraderie and we really love it and we have a great time we love our jewelry community okay i see gail in at 15. we are looking for 16 or better It was a pretty Brighton piece. So yeah, this was one of the pieces that Dr. Lori had. All right. It's fun. Sue brought up the other night that we should probably do a marathon. And I was thinking about it. I said, you know, that would be fantastic. Start at whatever time. And go from the East Coast to the West Coast. And, you know, there's me in the Midwest. There's Sue and Tanya and Gail. And, or, I'm sorry, and Gina and Kirsten and Deb. You know, we're all over the country. So, yeah, it would be really a fun time and really nice. Do a marathon. And we all bring different items. So, it's always great. All right. So, we don't see any other interest. Going to call it sold to Gail. Congratulations. It is a beautiful piece. Yeah, you got to watch what you say, right, Jewel, or, uh, Sue? Because we're going to take you up on that offer of doing a marathon. Because why not? It would be fun. Okay, and this is going to Gail A for $15. Congratulations. All right. I wanted to bring up one more sparkly necklace. This one is fun. And then I'm going to pull out some more sterling. This has a beautiful sparkles. It is black faceted beads and a clear bead and then more that look like a silver it is gorgeous it has a clean ribbon <laughs> usually I don't like to sell anything that's on a ribbon just because the ribbon can get sucky yes it can be cleaned 
So let me get you a measurement on this one. It is a nine and a half inch wearable. It is absolutely beautiful. These are glass and it is costume. We will go ahead and do a starting bid on this one of $10. It is a lovely, lovely piece. Starting bid 10. We will give it about 30 seconds. And if there's no interest, we will pass. All right, we are going to pass on this one. There we go. All right, you know what? Before I bring up the sterling, I'm gonna do a fun lot. Let's do a lot. This will be a shell lot. It has a, a funky bracelet. Love that shell, just look at that color. Beautiful, stretch. And then we have a shell dolphin, dolphin ring. And the ring has this beautiful abalone piece right there. Then we have a short blue dyed shell necklace. Then we have another shell bracelet or necklace. This one is beautiful. It's bib style in yellows and greens. And then we have one more necklace. So this one is a five piece, or I'm sorry, a six piece. There was another piece hiding. This one is gorgeous. Beautiful purples and greens and blues. And then we have a faux pearl with the shell as well. It is beautiful. Let me get you a measurement on the, the largest one. We're going to do a starting bid for the lot. Let's do, let's start it off at eight. Why not, right? So the largest necklace is large. <laughs> it is a 27 inches wearable. So that is the longest one. We have the ring. Let me get you a size on the ring. It is a five and a half. Really beautiful dolphin there. And we're doing a starting bid of five if anyone is interested. Otherwise, we will pass on this in about 30 seconds. All right. We will pass on the shell lot. I'm thinking of summer here. <laughs> I'm praying for summer. Whoops. Slippery little sucker. Okay. We will pass on that lot. All right, let's do, we'll bring in some sterling. This is gorgeous. This is from Or Paws. It is 925 and it's sterling silver. It's made in Israel. It is Roman glass. I do have a cleaning cloth that I include with them because I do not clean them unless you would like me to. It has the little card. And it is a cross with a Roman glass in the center. Bring this off to the side. 
and there will be an anti-tarnish in there as well. So that is what it looks like. Oh, Roman glass in the center. It is beautiful. It is marked right there. Let me get you a measurement on here. This is a fantastic piece of Four of Paws. So the necklace measures in at a nine inch wearable. And the cross is one and a half by just over one inch. You can see it's up free form. This one is beautiful. Let me get you a weight on this. And we're gonna do a buy it now of 40 on this one. It is fantastic. All right, and the gram weight is six grams. Beautiful, made in Israel. Love it. I kind of like it with the tarnish. I don't know if I would clean that tarnish off. Want? Okay, Sue. So it is beautiful. All right, we are selling this to Miss Sue. Congratulations. It is beautiful. Let me put her back in here. Wear it with good health. It is a beautiful piece. All right, now we'll bring the other one up. Oh, where did I grab it? Oh, okay, I grabbed this one. I was going to do this a little later, but it's here now. This was in the preview. This has been certified by the International Geological Society. It is phenomenal. This was in the preview. This is four, or 14 karat gold, diamonds, and sterling silver. It is marked. It does come in its bag. And I will get you the information shortly here. Just want to make sure I bag and tag this before I miss a sue. Okay. So this has a 0.11 carat of diamonds. It is sterling silver bracelet with 14 karat gold trim stamped 925, 14K, and the logo. It has 18 pave stones. This is fantastic has such beautiful sparkle. Let's see if I can show that a little better. The sparkle. And this measures in at comfortably, I would say six and a half to six and three quarter. Yeah. Oh, this is a beautiful piece. I love it. And it, it was certified which is fantastic. Let me get you a weight on that piece. It is 13 grams, and it's the sterling silver with the 14 karat gold and the diamonds. And that is the beautiful sparkle. I'm doing it with the black light just to try to wash out some of that light. Yeah, Wowza is right. This baby is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to do that for a buy it now of 150 If anyone is interested, it is beautiful. It has such beautiful sparkle in it. I know it's not everybody's budget or everybody's taste, but I was going to show it anyways because it is spectacular. And you guys can always email me if you're interested. And we can see if I still have it at the time. Otherwise, we're going to pass, but oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, we will go ahead and pass.
Okay. Put her away. Gorgeous. Let's do one more of Fun Lot while I'm getting all my ducks in a row here. We are going to do a... Let's see. Do we want to do... Okay. This is fun. This bracelet I got looks like amber. It is not amber, right? <laughs> Definitely not amber. But it looks like it. And the yellow does glow. It's stretch. And then there's this gorgeous ring that also stretches. How interesting is that? Gold tone. And this lights up as well. Let's see if I can get that to glow. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that glow right there. And the glow here on the yellow. It's fantastic. So this is a faux turquoise. Or I'm sorry. Amber look. We will do a starting bid on this of, let's do a starting bid of five. So the ring is adjustable. It's fun. No maker's mark on it. This is what the bracelet looks like. Yeah, it looks like amber, but it is not amber. But glows like amber. Okay, I see the IA in it. Five. Looking for six. It is a fun piece, that is for sure. Move that over there. EPIA is in at five. Okay, there's no other interest. We will go ahead and Mark it as a sold. Or yippee -I, I love that name. It makes me laugh. It makes me giggle inside. Thank you. <laughs> it does look like confetti lucite. It is beautiful. So we are marking this sold. If there's no other interest to yippee All right. Enjoy. It's fun. Got to have those pieces that you just throw on and go. Okay. This piece was also in the preview video. Comes in this really pretty box. There is a little bit of a tear here to the box. It's called Bay Beyond. It is faux pearl set in a rose gold. Let me bring up this color so you can see it. It is rose gold with beautiful clear rhinestones. Three layers. This is the clasp. And you can see here, that's the shortest. I'm going to measure by that. Have a great day, flipping crazy. So as it sits right now, the shortest is at 10. And there is another inch and a half extender. So then this goes out to the other two layers. And those measure in at about 16 and 15 and 16 inches. It is a gorgeous piece. So this one, we're just going to do a buy it now of 10. Beautiful color. Oops, I said bond 10. Okay. We know what I meant. <laughs> I see Irene in it 10. So. It is sold to Miss Irene. It is beautiful. Let me get you a bag here. Irene for 10. It is a beautiful piece, Irene. Wear it in good health. Okay. 
Now, I don't know if any of you got a chance to look up the Lizzie Fortunato earrings. They are definitely hard to find. They have been sold out on her website for a long time. They are almost $400 on her site when they were brand new and worth every penny of it. They are just fantastic. Let me bring these up to you. This is coral here. Gold tone in like a sun with blue and black enamel. Mother of pearl center. And that's the coral. And look at that abalone. Isn't that not fantastic? And these are, yeah, Ashley, these are fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to measure these for, or give you a weight on these. These are heavyweight earrings. Absolutely beautiful. Now these are going to be a little bit up on the higher end. So one of the earrings alone weighs 16 grams. Give you a measurement on this. Look at that color there. Perfect. You guys can see the colorization there of the abalone. This is what the back looks like. Her jewelry is fantastic. I saw these and I was like, wowza. Very heavy weight. Beautiful measurement on these. These measure in at three inches by one and a half inches at the widest. The coral piece is one inch and the gold tone sun is just over three quarters of an inch. And this is a buy it now of 175 and if you're a reseller you still have room for these yeah i hear you lindsay these are fantastic i had to bring them they're just gorgeous absolutely beautiful nice substantial piece i had to bring them They're too beautiful not to share. So if there's no interest on these, I will go ahead and pass. We'll give it about 30 more seconds. They are gorgeous. You guys can always contact me if you're looking for these later. I will not be listing them anytime soon. <laughs> So, all right, we will go ahead and pass on those, but thank you for looking. Aren't they gorgeous? All right, let's do some earrings. We will do some fun earrings, different colors. Try to lighten it up here a little bit. All right, these are from the preview as well. These are the Nakamol earrings made in Chicago. They are, came in a stitch fix box. I don't know if that belongs there or not. It They are handcrafted semi-precious stones. Gives a little bit of information on there. Comes with the dust bag and they're gorgeous. They're gold tone. Let me get you a measurement on these. And I believe I still have Pressy warmed up. All right, measurement on these. They measure in at two and a quarter. They look like pink quartz. That looks like a smoky topaz. So I will get Miss Pressy. I just have to figure out where I moved her. Oh. There she is. I try not to move her around too much because then it needs to be recalibrated. They are beautiful. And I had never heard of this company until I'd gotten these earrings. All right. We're going to test them together. And I'm going to do them on here. I don't want to try not to touch the stones because body heat 
can make them not test correctly. So we are going to test first this center, what looks like a, a gray topaz. All right. It is moving, but not really reading. So let's try this one. Oop, slippery little sucker. All right, we're going to try the green. And if, if it's not working, I'm going to recalibrate and then we'll get the measurement and stuff. Okay, you know what? We're going to go ahead and recalibrate it since I have been flapping it around. All right, get it to calibrate. Good morning, NE. All right, and I check it with the glass to make sure. So we're gonna go ahead and retest. Let's see if we can get this here. They are so tiny. So this one is testing as glass. Then we have what looks like a pyrite, and then we have the gray, which is also, no, not testing. And let's try the green. Okay, and those are testing, but not really. So we're just going to call them fashion earrings. They are supposed to be with semi-precious stones. So for these, we're going to do a buy it now of $14. They are gorgeous. You on the card? Comes with the dust bag in a box. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hello, Kirsten Day or Kristen Red. <laughs> Good morning. So the Nakamol. You're doing a bite now, of fourteen, and if there's no interest, we'll start passing. All right, we are going to go ahead and pass a couple more pair of earrings and then we'll get back to some more sterling. Okay, these are fun. These are bobble bar. Look at that. These are string purples and blues, rainbow. Love these earrings. They are fun. They are lightweight. They're originally $48. They're called the PE Met Crispin Ball. These are really gorgeous. Let me get you a measurement on these. These are just beautiful. It's a party on your ear, right? <laughs> it's just over three and a half. We're gonna do a buy it now. Let's do Eight dollars if anyone's interested in the bobble bar. Gonna move Pressy back over. We'll give it a minute. Gorgeous purples. And good morning to anybody else that came in if I missed you. I'm just Pull some more sterling. Okay, I don't see any interest. So we are going to go ahead and pass on the bobble bar. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Do we want more rings or do we want pendants? Let's do, hmm. How about we do a necklace? This is fantastic. If you want, you can Google the name. It's K A 17. 72 Italy 
and they it is a necklace by Carizia Spa. This is a multi-strand. There's 15 strands of beautiful two-tone silver. It's in a gold tone and silver tone. It is beautiful. Let me get you a measurement on her. She is just lovely. Silver and gold for May. Okay, let's measure her and see how much she weighs. Okay, she is 15 grams. Marked. Beautiful hang tag right there. It is marked and I have tested it. So... We're going to do a buy it now on this one, I believe. Thank you, N.E. I try to bring a little bit of everything for every budget and every person's taste. Because, you know, we're all so different, but that's what makes us so great, too. <laughs> all right. So we're going to do this for a buy it now of $50. It is a fantastic. 15 strands. This is what it looks like up close. It is beautiful and silky on. It feels great on the neck. It has never been worn. I have the original bag that it came in. Anti-tarnish. So buy it now of 50. It does also come in a little bag. We will give that a minute or so. All right, we will go ahead and pass. Okay, we are gonna pass on that lovely. And if you see this video later, just shoot me an email. I will have it at the ready. All right, we are gonna do another beautiful necklace. This one is two-toned. It is sterling silver and gold vermeil. Does have the chain. I have the chain separate right now. Let me put that back in for you. It is gorgeous. It is a cross and it has the metal work that is raised and has a little bit of a sparkle to it so it from far away it looks like they're silver uh, rhinestone rhinestones but they are not let me see there you can see it it's raised it is gorgeous we're gonna measure this one oh, oops my gem tree just fell over gem tree overboard all right now we get that ready let me get you a measurement the chain is a nine inch wearable. The cross with the bail is just over one and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. It is a lovely one. Okay, so the gram on this one is six. It is a beautiful necklace. Sterling silver, gold vermeil, cross. We are going to do a buy it now of, let's do 30 on it. It's gorgeous. It needs a home. Perfect for Easter. Confirmation. First communion. Or just because. Try to block that harsh light a little bit. So we're doing a buy it now of 30 on this one. And then I'm going to bring up another ring. We'll give this another second here. All right. We will pass on this one. Put her back in her box. Gorgeous. All right. I don't believe I pulled this one up last time. This is a ring. 
sterling silver. It is a size. Let's see, it even still has its tag on it. About six and three quarters. It is gorgeous. It is sterling silver. It has a tiny heart in there. And it also has a, what looks like a more in, a cross between a rose gold and a gold tone. It is sterling. And this does have a diamond accent. Gorgeous. Came in its original box. Show you that. So for this one, we're going to do a starting bid of, let's start this one at 15. How's that? And it is sterling silver and diamond accent right there. Absolutely fun. Love the design. We'll let that sit here for a minute if you're interested in that ring. Okay, no interest. We will go ahead and pass. Beautiful. All right, so we are going to bring up a gorgeous pendant necklace. It's sterling silver, 18 inch length on this. I think I had this in my blurry, mm, blurry what? My screen? See, to me it looks clear, so. Okay, you can see I always have the papers with it. Is it any better there? Now this is a really hard color to look at. It is, let's, there. Now you guys can see the sh light shines right through it. And it has a clear and a gray and like a caramel color. It is elongated, 18 inch length. Let me re-measure to make sure. Okay, the necklace is actually about 19 inches. Beautiful, beautiful. This one Let's start her at, how about we start her at 20? She is gorgeous. Let me get this here for you so you can see the front and the back. And yeah, we'll do the starting bit of 18, I think. Beautiful necklace. Give you guys a minute to think about it. It is agate. Yes, it is sterling silver. It has been tested. There's the markings there. And there is the agate. Let me show you that beautiful coloration sit through there. I hope you guys can see that. Try to hold something up behind it so you can see how it changes color there. It is gorgeous. Let me measure that stone for you. The pendant measures in at just about one and three quarters to a half inch. And we're doing a starting bid on this one of 18.
It is gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> pretty, pretty. Give another second, otherwise we will pass. Okay, we are going to pass on this one. And let's bring up one more necklace. This one is beautiful Dalmatian. I just love this. And I'll let my scale measure up there. I just wanted to show this. Look at this. It is a beige with a like a burnt sienna and the black spots. Nice heavyweight oval. Here is the chain which is about 19 inches sterling silver it measures or it weighs in at 12 grams it is a beautiful dalmatian piece love it let me give you a measurement on the pendant itself it measures in at two inches it's a long one by just about one inch. We are gonna do, let's do the starting bit on this one at 20. And that chain is sterling silver, has been tested and is marked. Beeple is sterling silver, has been tested and is marked. And beautiful stone. We'll give it about 15 more seconds. <laughs> Have fun with that. Oh, I miss those days of putting the kids down for a nap. Always great. <laughs> now I'm putting my grandbabies down for a nap. All right. We will go ahead and pass on this a beautiful Dalmatian. Gorgeous. All right. We're going to do one more piece of silver. These are Swarovski crystal elements with a 925 setting. I haven't even taken them out of the container yet. These are beautiful. The Swarovski crystals are just, if you guys have never seen it sparkle in sunlight, it's just phenomenal. All right. So here's an up close of that earring. Beautiful slip on, nice long backing. Beautiful, beautiful faceted Swarovski crystal. Bring them here so you guys don't have to see my hands. I will show you the front and the back on these. They are lovely. And these are going to be a, let's do a buy it now of 10 on these sterling silver earrings with Swarovski crystal. They are not made by Swarovski. And let's see, the measurement on these is one inch long absolutely gorgeous i don't know if you guys can see any of that sparkle it is phenomenal yippee i o a i see in at 10. all right they are gorgeous let me get them bagged and tagged for you you will love them. The sparkle is phenomenal. All right. So those are sold. Congratulations. They are beautiful. All right. 
I'm going to bring up a, another pair of earrings that were new to me. They are Deepa, D-E-E-P-A, by Deepa Gurini. I can never say it correctly. The last name is spelled, let me see here. It is so tiny. The last name is G-U-R-N-A-N-I. These are on a suede back. These are phenomenal. Blue, Aurora Borealis color. Almost like a, almost like a Sabino color. It is not though. Beautiful clear crystals. Just look at the craftsmanship on there. It is beautiful. Let me get you a measurement on these. These measure in. If you want to Google it, you can see the beautiful jewelry that are made. Two and a half inches by about one and three quarters. We're going to do a starting bid on these of 15 which is a phenomenal price for these. That way, if you are a reseller, you have room to resell if you would like. They are phenomenal. Here is the colorization. Beautiful, look at that. And I just love the craftsmanship on this. And then it's on a blue suede. And there is the marking, Deepa by Deepa. We're doing the starting bid of 15. Gorgeous. We will give it about 30 seconds. And we will pass. Beautiful. All right, let's do a pair of Tory Birch earrings. These are blue in color. These are a blue resin. They are the gold ton, gold tone <laughs> stud. These are called the Roxanne stud earrings. I'm going to put them on card for you so you can see them a little better. They're beautiful. I'll hold it up here first so you can see it. These are the Tory Birch logo. Very nice backing here. Let me show you that. Very quality made. Right there. Tory Birch. And these are the Roxanne stud earrings. So on these, I'm going to do, we'll do a starting bid of 40 on these. And they are Tory Birch Roxanne earrings. Beautiful color. There we go. Let me show you the back right there. Let me show you this backing. It has the Tory Birch logo. Starting bid is 40. And I will get you a measurement on these. There we go. That way I can hold it still. Let me give it to you in millimeters. It is a 12 inch millimeter. Tory Birch. Roxanne earrings. Really pretty blue color. If there's no interest, we will go ahead and pass. We'll give it another 30 seconds here. Beautiful Tory Birch earrings. All right, we will pass on those. Let's pull out one more pair of earrings. They are costume. Let's see, which ones do we want to do? Let's do, these are new on the card, but the card has seen better days. 
This has a pair of 1928 earrings. Beautiful colorization there. And it has three pink. They are silver tone. They're new on the card. Beautiful color. We're going to just do a buy it now of $5 if anyone is interested in these. These are 1928 new on the card earrings. Lovely oval, caramel color, just under three quarters of an inch by a half inch. 1928 earrings. Buy it now of five. We'll give it another 30 seconds. Oh, I see Kristen. Okay. Kristen D, they are lovely. Let me get a bag for you. Okay, we're bagging it and tagging it for Kristen D for $5. Great. And I am going to bring up one more piece of sterling. It is 18 inches sterling silver. It is the infinity symbol. It is a gorgeous piece. It is 18 inches long. 18 inches, yes. 925 sterling silver has been tested. 18 inch wearable length or 18 inch length. It's still new in there. Gorgeous piece. Great gift idea. I had bought out a jewelry store years ago. Um, I had gone on the last day and they were closing their doors and I bought a lot of their sterling silver and I almost forgot I had them. They've been sitting seriously probably 12 to 15 years in my closet. So <laughs> I had to pull them out and share them. So for this necklace, let's do a Buy it now of 20. It's gorgeous. Sterling silver. Infinity. Great gift idea. 18 inches long. Great gift idea. Mother's Day is coming up. Can you believe it? All right. We are going to give it another second and then we will do a pass. All right, we will pass on that one. Beautiful. Let's do one more ring. Let's do a green turquoise. This is beautiful it's adjustable and I like that they're adjustable you put the cloth that slows down tarnish on sterling silver yes 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 that is for sure I have that blue cloth that I include that's a cleaning cloth and then there's that black little cube and that's an anti-tarnish so if your item is tarnished already it'll stay where it's at they're good for about six months and you want to keep them sealed in um, but if you do clean it, definitely put a sterling silver de-tarnish, um, anti-tarnish log with those. So, because after doing that hard work of cleaning it, you want to make sure it stays clean. Okay, this one is sterling silver with a gorgeous green turquoise in the center. It is adjustable. It is about seven and three quarters. Gorgeous color. Let me get the millimeter size. Oh, you are very welcome. I know what hard work it is to keep our jewelry beautiful. So, okay. So this is eight millimeters by just under six millimeters. A beautiful green color, turquoise. And as it sits, seven and three quarters. 
it weighs, it's still rocking, about five grams. So we are going to do a starting bid on this one of, start it off at 18, why not, right? It needs a lovely home, beautiful green turquoise. Love that setting. Gorgeous. Bring that up so you can see it a little better. Starting bid is 18. All right, we'll give it another 30 seconds. And we will pass. Okay, let's bring up one more fun lot. If I can figure out where I move them to, right? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take a quick sip here. So talk amongst yourself for a minute. All right, before we do the fun lot, hi, Emily, welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it is so dry in here with the heat on. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a giveaway. And I'm going to make it a choice of what you want. So I'm trying to think. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> wow. Let me take another sip. Alrighty. So for the giveaway, we're going to pick a number, but I haven't picked the number yet. Let me show what your choices are. Okay, these were in the stuff that Dr. Lori had also done the appraisal for me when I did my opening with Dr. Lori V. These are three colored bracelets. And these are, I have a great story. These are Lily and Laura bracelets. Namaste. In honor of the spirit and light that is in you and in me, this bracelet was created by, and I cannot read that. <laughs> and these were made by women in Nepal. How they support their family. So you're going to have the choice of the bracelets. And then... Let's see, it might be a little too bright in here. I'm also going to have a choice of a UV light. It's got batteries on it. It's twist on. It's going to be hard to see in here. And also, this is a, a uranium glass marble. See that? See how it glows? So, I will send this in the package with it. It's gorgeous. It shows you how things should glow so you can get a good practice at it. So that will be the second option, the beautiful black light with the uranium piece. And then I wanted to do something different because not everybody is wanting jewelry. Give you some choices. And then I have this fun, fun Brighton notebook. This does not come off. It's really pretty. Great for your purse or on the couch or on your table. So this is a little pad of paper. So we're going to do it for choice. So we've got the three necklaces or bracelets made from Nepal, in Nepal. We've got the little notebook and we've got the UV light with the uranium glass. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a number between... Let's do 1 to 150. So you guys can uh, pick a number between 1 and 50. Okay, I see Tanya in. Keep coming, keep coming. Type in your numbers. 
getting close already. Keep going until I see it. Thank God for lag. It's actually going a little slower so I can read it. Okay, Irene. Number 23. Congratulations, Irene. All right, so Irene, let me know which item you would like. We've got the three bracelets, the UV light with the uranium glass marble. Yippee! Yeah. And we've got the fun Brighton notepad. So let me know, and I will get that put aside for you. Okay. The UV light. Okay. I know what you meant. Let me get the bag set aside. It's great. And it's got the little UV light. Your dogs get fed at 1230. Yeah. Okay. That's my husband. And my dogs are always looking for food. <laughs> Jules is 14, and Roxy, I think, is 9. She's my granddaughter that came here from London. My uh, son was stationed in the UK, and they just had to get a target dog. So she is now here because when he left for Afghanistan, my daughter-in-law, you know, it was just too much with the two kids and the sickness. So she now lives here at Grandma's house. So congratulations, Irene. I will stick that in your package. It does have batteries in it. Okay. And then we'll save the other two items. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and do one more. Why not? Right? They're out. So what we have left is the three bracelets for the notebook. I'm gonna pick a new number. Let me cross that one out and put a new number. And we're gonna do the number between one and 60. And you can go and it's for choice on these two. So we're looking for a number between one and 60. Okay, keep them coming. Haven't seen it. You guys are skirting around the number. Keep them coming. I don't see them. Close, close. Nope, keep coming. I have not seen the number yet. Some of you have been really close. I'm going to go back up and make sure that I haven't seen the number yet. I have not seen the number yet. So go ahead and enter. All right, so now it's going really fast. Still haven't seen it. 
but I could have missed it. So just keep entering until I say stop and then I will go back up and look. Oh, you guys are so close. I'll give you a hint. It's between 30 and 40. Okay, I see it. I see it. Go ahead and stop. All right, and I'm going to go back up before I say anyone's name to make sure that that was the only one I saw. As of right now, it is Emily Johnson, but hold on. I'm going to make sure that no one else guessed 34. Let me go back up and chat. The lag is really bad today. Okay, so far, it's Emily going back up. Oh, no, Gail A came in before Emily with 34. So let me go ahead and look up more. Make sure no one else. So, so far we're at Gail A. Okay, I'm almost back up to the chat where we started. Okay, let's see. So far, still Gail A. Does everyone else agree with me? Okay. I don't see it. I went back up. All right. So, Gail A., you are the winner. Which one would you like? The bracelets or the cute notepad. You've got the choice here of the bracelets or the Brighton notepad. Brighton, please. Good choice. It's beautiful. All right, yeah, there's the number 34. Go ahead and bag that for you. Something with a little bit of sparkle for your Monday. All right. So I do have some more costume and some more of the lots, the fun lots. Put this away here. And I thanks everyone for hanging out today. We'll probably go another half an hour. Oh, you had 34 too. Who said that? Sarah, okay. Let me go back up and look. I just want to make it there. Yeah, Sarah, I see you, but above you was Emily that had 34, and then above Emily was Gail A. So Good guess. Just a little too late. Lag is a uh, is not fun. All right. What I'll do is bring out a pair of Kendra Scott earrings. You are most welcome. These are silver tone. They do have their dust cloth, their dust bag. Her iconic shape. Her necklaces, her earrings. It's just like this. It does have a little booklet about her. These are silver tone. I lost my measuring stick. There we go. All right. So hopefully everyone's gotten their coffee in. I love Kendra Scott too. I have a lot of Kendra Scott. And I figured I'd bring out a couple pieces and see how everyone else loved it because I love it. Okay, it is just under two inches at the widest it is one and a quarter okay and these are a beautiful and they are like a gray but they have a little bit of tint of silver gorgeous earrings we're gonna do a 
Let's do a buy it now of 14 on the Kendra Scott earrings, if you're interested. Gorgeous. She makes some really gorgeous jewelry. Yeah, I love that gray too. I agree. You probably did, Ashley. I, I get a lot of Kendra Scott. So if there's anything that you guys were looking for um, that you saw in the preview that I haven't shown yet, let me know. We've still got about 20, 25 more minutes. If you're looking for more sterling silver, more fun fashion rings or earrings, bracelets, necklaces. Yes, I can show them to you closer. I'm going to put them here. Okay. Try to block that bright. You can see the UV lights out of there. They are a beautiful grayish. And they are a beautiful grain inside there. So that's what they look like on the gray. Let me hang them on the clear so I can just kind of see if you can stop them from dangling. You can see the color coming through. They are prong set, the front and the back. Yes, they are beautiful Kendra Scots. That is for sure. Lovely pieces. And these are a buy it now 14 if you're interested. All right, I see Deb and G for 14. Congratulations, they are beautiful. Let me get you a bag here and mark it. Congratulations. And for those that just came in, I will be doing the invoicing this afternoon. It is a snowy day here, and this will include items from the last few sales. Great. And I had a blast being part of the trio with Denims, the Diamond, and Tanya. It was just great. I would love to do that again for sure. It was really a great, fun event. All right. I will put up that purple necklace that we saw in the preview. It's still new on the card. Earth Found Trading Company. Genuine stone. Now, I cannot figure out what stone this is. It has been dyed. It is purple. It is copper wrapped. Gorgeous. It's cold. Test as stone. Beautiful piece. I'm going to put this up here so you can see that. Beautiful tree design on there. I will get you a length on this. Okay, let me get you the length on the pendant itself is two inches. And the measurement for the width is one and a quarter. Bring that up closer so you can see that. Really pretty. It is a purple stone. It is heavily purple, so it has definitely been dyed. And that's not a bad thing, because it's purple. I love purple. So it is about a 19-inch wearable. We're going to do a buy it now on this one. Let's do a $12 buy it now, if anyone's interested. Earthbound Trading Company. Purple dyed stone, beautiful tree design, copper wrapped. About 19 and a half inches.
gorgeous necklace. I will give it a, another few seconds. All right, we will go ahead and pass on the purple and copper. All right, sterling silver, I think we need to do a one more for sure. Let's do another turquoise ring. Let me get you the measurement on this one. It is a blue, blue or turquoise. That other one was green. It is adjustable, which is fantastic. It is sitting at an eight. It can go up to about a nine or down to about a six comfortably. Sterling silver. Nice thick design. It is round. It has beautiful matrixing in it. And this is a eight millimeter round. Yes. Gorgeous ring. We're going to do a starting bid. Let's do a starting bid of 20 on this one. It's gorgeous. And it is a green with the brown matrix. Bring that up there so you can see it. Nice dainty setting. Adjustable, which is great. So it sits at an 8. You can go up to a 9 or down to a 7. Try to block that light a little bit. Nice medium green color. It is marked and tested sterling. All right. And if there is no interest on the turquoise ring, I will give it another 30 seconds and we will go ahead and pass. Good morning, Cece. We're here for about another 15 minutes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pass on the turquoise ring. Okay, I think we are going to do that fun lot. This is great for repurposing or crafters. They're all wearable. This is a bead lot. Somebody took their time and made these. So these are fun colors. There are three bracelets and three necklaces. Multi-strand. Those are miscellaneous orange colors. Then we have purple, greens, blues, orange. Just look at the beads on that bad boy. And the all wearable, great for repurposing. And then this one is red. Look at that, is that not glorious? So I figured why not bring this up? I know a lot of my girls craft and you could repurpose these or sell them as is. Um, there is some wear on the metal. So we will do a starting bid of $5. So there are three bracelets and three necklaces. This is black. Gorgeous. Okay, and then this one is a bronze with Aurora Borealis, purpley blue in the center. Love this design. And then we've got this one that's so colorful. Then we have the multicolor. The orange. And the red. So that is the bead lot. Oh, there's one more. Oh, I knew we had another one. Look at this one. This is gorgeous. This has beautiful red colors. Uh, they're a cherry red and a 
fire red. And it's a twist design. So there are four bracelets. And three necklaces. Perfect crafter's lot. We'll give that another 30 seconds. And then we will go ahead and pass on that one. Okay. Pass. Let's show one more sterling necklace. This is gorgeous. This is new. Oh, Irene, I see you. All right. I've got it for you here. The bracelets are fantastic. Great for crafting as well. So we are going to mark this as sold for Irene. Thank you. Okay, bag it and tag it for you. Great. Okay, so we are going to do the sterling silver rose gold vermeil. It is a bar pendant. It is cubic zirconia. And it is an 18 inch necklace. This is another piece that I had bought out from the jewelry store when they were closing. It is phenomenal. Oh, if I move it like that, you can see a little bit of the sparkle. It is glorious. 18 inches. Let me get you a measurement on the pendant itself. You can hear my dogs in the background tapping on the tile floor. I'm looking for their food. Okay. This is just over three quarters of an inch. Beautiful rose gold color. Bring that up there. We're going to do a, let's do a buy it now of 24. I'm going to do 24 on this lovely cubic zirconia, rose gold vermeil, sterling silver necklace, 18 inches. Bring that up a little closer. Hopefully it's not too blurry for you. And we'll give it another minute or so. And I'm going to hold on to these for a little while. I'm not going to be listing them anytime soon. So if you are interested in replay, just shoot me an email. All right, let's do... One more ring. I have a, another Labradorite ring. This one's a little bit larger than the one we had earlier. This measures in at just at eight and a half. Beautiful labyrinthine. The color is peachy, a little bit of purple, some minor green. It is gorgeous oval. Yeah, Ashley, I know it's gorgeous. I love this one. Nice size. Let's see, you block that a little bit. Yeah, the color so washes out, but it has beautiful flash on this one. We will go ahead and measure this one in grams. It is four grams. Let me put it on the finger holder. It is sterling silver, has been tested. Okay, I'm trying to get that there so you can see it. It's getting blurry. It hasn't hit its coffee for the day. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a starting bid on the Labradorite ring at 20. Gorgeous. And this is... 18 millimeters by 12 millimeters. Gorgeous. I love the peach, the pink. There is some purple, some light blue. Oh, I think you guys might actually be able to see that a little bit. 
Okay, I see Ashley in for 20. I see Cindy in for 22. It's gorgeous. Looking for 24. Let's see, fun surprises for 22. Ashley, if you're out, just let us know. Oh, Ashley's in at 24. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, we're up to 26 with fun surprises. Put it on my hand there. I have ugly hands. Sorry, I have man hands. I garden and I garden hard. Out for Cindy? Okay. If no one else is coming in, we will be selling this as sold to a Fun Surprises. All right. Fair warning. Sold to Cindy. Congratulations. Yeah. I love, I can grow anything outside, but I tell you, I cannot grow anything inside. I kill every houseplant, but outside I can grow anything. So I do a three sisters um, garden every once in a while, and it has Native American roots in it. It's fantastic. So I, I do a lot. <laughs> Ashley, I can't even paint my nails because when I test with that sterling silver, acid it takes it right off so i figure why bother right all right congratulations that is a gorgeous piece and if there's anything that was in the review that you guys want me to bring up before we go we got a couple more minutes let me know yeah i can't i can't grow a house plant to, to save my life plus the way the house is built we don't really, we get sunlight in, but not direct sunlight. And our windows have a UV lining on them, which is fantastic. But it's not good at the same time because plants need that. So if there's anything you guys want to see before we get ready to go. Yeah, I agree. I've got chives already growing, which is fantastic. We use those year round. And we can tomatoes. All right, Cindy, I got that set aside for you. All right. Should we do one more ring? Let's do an onyx ring. And then we will pull out another necklace. It's been a while. Okay, so this is onyx and sterling silver. Gorgeous. Large size ring. Beautiful oval shape. Look at the decoration on the side of that. Sterling silver. Beautiful. That one is a gram weight of, it's bouncing between nine and 10. So we're just gonna call it a nine and a half. And this one is a size eight, just, just a hair above eight beautiful onyx here is the setting it is marked and has been tested gorgeous so this one we're going to do a starting bid of 25 it is a nice large set onyx beautiful decoration sterling silver oval shape. Let me get you a measurement on that stone. So starting bit is 25. The stone is 16 millimeters by 12 millimeters. Gorgeous piece. Black onyx. All right. If I don't see any interest, we will go ahead and pass. Great. 
let's do a, one more item for the road. And I thank you guys all so much for being here. Let's do... Hmm. You know what? I didn't bring up any brooches. Deborah, I apologize. I missed the price of the purple and copper necklace. Um, I'm going to have to look back. I can't remember what I put on it. Oh. I can do eight for it. How's that? I think I had it at 12, but we can do eight if you'd like it, Irene. Thank you, Sue. Okay, Irene, it's yours. Let me type this in. It is beautiful. I love the wrapping on it. It's just phenomenal. All right, I will bag it and tag it for you. I'll bring up a couple brooches real quick on the way out. Okay, we are going to do a flower because we all want spring. I want spring. And this is a red flower and gold tone. It is a vintage. It is unassigned. It is a gorgeous cherry red, gold tone, floral design, heavy weight, pin back. No maker's mark, which surprised me. Let me get you a measurement on this. It is a one and a half by just over one and a half inches. So for this brooch, we will do a buy it now of, let's do a buy it now of 10. Yeah, we're all lagging, I tell you. Ours, I think it's the snow. It's just crazy. Ah, knocking everything over. So, okay. Buy it now for Jewel. Oh, I can't even talk for Tanya. You got it, Tanya. It's gorgeous. So, $10. Bag and tag. For my jewelry addiction. All right, and we'll do one more brooch, and then I guess we will go. Let's see. I got that bag and tag. Let's find a fun one. We're not going to do another flower. We're going to do some sparkle. I believe I had this one. Oh, I hear you. I believe this one was in the preview. It is phenomenal. The sparkle looks like Swarovski crystals. Look at that 3D design. They are layered. Here is the backing. This is gorgeous. No maker's mark. Shocking. <laughs> Bring that up. Let me get you a measurement on the side. And for this last one, we'll do a starting bit of 15 on it. It is phenomenal. Get you the size. Well, I really appreciate everyone being here today. I know it's tough on Monday mornings. It is one and three quarter inch by just over one and a half inches. Starting bid on this lovely is 15. It's gorgeous and it has that beautiful built up design. You can see the layers. There's the back. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So we'll give that a few seconds. And I thank you all for being here. I know how busy we all are, and it is truly appreciated. All right. I'm going to give it another few seconds. And then we're going to pass. We're at three and a half hours. 
All right. Well, thank you so much. We passed. And I will see you all really soon. You guys have a blessed day. And uh, I will see you in chat along the way. It's snowing still. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being here. And I will be doing the invoicing today. Thank you. You guys all have a great one. Thanks, Devin G. Thank you, Irene. I appreciate it. Have a blessed week, you guys. Okay, I'm going to sign off. Bye.